What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Roster Bubble Series video. Please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or a video drops. Appreciate y'all coming back. Also share this out. Competition is vamping up. And with that being said, I've stuck with you guys since minicamp, keeping you busy with the Roster Bubble Series. I would appreciate sharing out to different communities, different fans, different platforms. So, in these types of videos... I take a player that's on the roster bubble, and then I go into their background, their competition, um, how they could win a spot on the roster, how they could lose a spot on the roster, and follow that up with a prediction. So today's roster bubble profile is Garrett McGinn. Garrett McGinn is an offensive tackle, offensive guard. Uh, he can play both, so versatile, but... We'll get to some of experience in a little bit. Started out with uh, the Buffalo Bills as an undrafted free agent in 2019. He was cut by them on August 24th. Out of, uh, by the way, he's out of East Carolina. Um, then went to the Panthers, played two games, didn't play any offensive snaps, so mostly on special teams. Was put on injured reserve, then waived. Signed with the Bills again, waived on July 27, 2020. Signed by the Jaguars, claimed off waivers, then signed to the practice squad, waived the following preseason after signing a futures contract. Then the New Jersey Generals of the USFL picked him up. With that being said, he was an all-USFL for 2022, and now he's with the New York Giants, and he's getting another shot at the NFL level. So um, I did go to my buddy, football grump for some information on him because uh the football grump you can follow him on twitter by the way was more into the usfl than i was and that's where he played most of his football so here is what football grump said about the o-line and the offense as a whole uh from the new jersey generals as a whole the line was very talent was a very talented run group the tackles weren't very good in pass pro, especially dealing with speed around the edge, but I believe he was an interior offensive line guy while there. Not that it's much of a flex, but the Generals had one of the more consistent and dominant offense, offenses in the league, all while rotating between a pure passer and Perez and more of an RPO quarterback with Johnson. So McGinn obviously has a good record in independent football, but we have yet to see him in actual snaps with an actual football team in the NFL level, which is the most competitive, obviously. Um, he played 11% special team snaps with the Panthers in 2019 in two games. And that was pretty much it, as mentioned. His competition, Ben Bredesen, Josh Rivas, Shane Lemieux, Jamil Douglas, Matt Gano, Roy Mbeteka, and Devery Hamilton. Right now, McGinn is playing... Uh, right tackle for the third team, actually. He's playing right tackle for the third team. Roy is playing left tackle with the third team. McGinn's playing right tackle. Um, he's mostly a guard, but can play tackle. So once again, versatility, we'll talk about that and how he can win. Uh, a little surprised he's not playing left tackle because Roy Mbeteka, uh, you know, he's coming on as a developmental project. But hey, listen, the coaching staff makes the decisions for a reason, right? How he can win. Show his versatility. Play well among the twos and the threes. As I talked about a couple of videos ago, this is a guy... Actually, no. Let me refrain and let me go back to what I was going to say before. Um, this seems like a more wide open tackle competition than many seem to be. I already predicted Matt Garner to make the roster, yes. I already predicted Devery Hamilton to not make the roster, yes. But can I be wrong? Yes, I can be. Matt Parrott's on PUP. How long is he going to be on PUP? He could be on PUP till the season begins. Maybe even six weeks into the season. The Giants need one or two tackle guys. Garrett McGinn can be one of those guys. Matt Gano can be one of those guys. Jamil Douglas, if he wants to play tackle like he did at Arizona State, he could do that. So there's a lot of guys coming in here who will have to be versatile in order to make a roster spot. You're not necessarily banking on Roy Mbeteka to take a roster spot. You're banking on Matt Gano, and if it's not him, 
either Devery Hamilton or Garrett McGinn. And right now, he still has to fight an uphill battle. How he can win, obviously we talked about that. How he can lose. Stays as the third team right tackle. Um, you know, it's pretty much that. If you're still on the third team and you're not making any progressions and the coaching staff doesn't make any comments about you, they're not noticing you as much, uh, that's a little bit of a, pro- a little bit of a problem. Loses reps quiet, but not in a good way. So those are some things to put down how he could possibly lose a spot on the roster. Right now, I don't have him making it. He could make the practice squad because obviously uh, the – NFL has that rule of signing a couple of veterans to practice squad that's now allowed the last two years. Um, so in terms of again, I think he can make the practice squad, but I don't think he's going to make the roster. Maybe he finds his way back in the USFL. It's definitely possible after the year he had amongst that talent. So appreciate you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or a video drops. Appreciate y'all. Coming back. Peace out, guys. See you later and stay cool.